Hey, how's it going everybody? Sean here for another edition of Sean Solo and today I want to tell you about something called Allison Road. Yes, Allison Road. Um, it is a spiritual successor or a fan-made homage, whatever you want to call it, for uh, PT, the canceled uh, pretty much demo for uh, Silent Hills. Well, it wasn't so much a demo, it was really more of a, it was called Playable Teaser. That's what PT stands for. And uh, the game was unofficially canceled, uh, the Silent Hills game, the game itself, the game proper. But, uh, and people were really bummed. Like, it's something that uh, people were really looking forward to. Not just Silent Hill fans, but I think just horror fans in, in general, because it was so unique and so effective. It kind of took... It took like all these things that are mostly used like cinematically and was able to employ them in a video game in an interactive sense Which is something kind of like nobody's really ever successfully done. I think until that point um, And but because of a falling out with uh, Kojima and Konami or Konami kind of like going a different direction in terms of what they want to do with their company They're gonna be focusing mostly on uh, kind of casino games Unfortunately the legacy of Konami is pretty much finally dead. It's finally kind of over. But anyways, PT, I was a big, big fan of it. You know, I'm sure most of you are aware of, like a few months ago, there was a big controversy when it was pulled down from the PlayStation Network, completely pulled down. Um, I was the, I, uh, I had a little fore, forethought and I uh, went ahead and downloaded, actually, the, the PT before, before it was taken down because they said, well, you know, they're going to delete it, but, but you're still going to be able to go into your account and download it like you would anything else, really. Even other things that have been taken off the store because you still own the license for it. But uh, Konami kind of just stripped it completely from PlayStation Network. And while that makes people angry, it does make sense to a certain degree, right? It's for a canceled game that doesn't exist anymore, so it's not actually teasing anything. And also, there's probably licensing issues with uh, Norman Reedus, the actor that ends up kind of being revealed at the end when it's all becomes known to be Silent Hills. But that's neither here nor there, because like I said, fans have come together, people that were looking forward to it, and took this opportunity to kind of make something of their own in a very in a similar vein. Uh, like you could say it's inspired by, probably more than homage, it's inspired by or homage, that's what I would call it. Uh, I wouldn't, some people are saying spiritual successor, I'm not one of those people. Actually, uh, for somehow, I don't remember exactly how, but I stumbled across this video, like, of like an hour after it was put up. It was crazy. Uh, there was only like a few hundred views on the video itself. This, there's a pre-alpha gameplay uh, thing that should be playing behind me right now. And um, I stumbled on it when it was just a few hundred views and um, I thought it was really cool. I shared it on my Facebook wall uh, for the Natural Gamers. Uh, just because it's a, that's a really awesome thing to see. It's like kind of putting your money where your mouth is type of thing instead of just like bitching and complaining about like, oh well they ruined it. Like they took it down, they stole something from us, but they, this company, Lilith LTD, they're a new company out of the UK, um, decided to just pick up and just go for it. I don't know if they actually kind of, kind of came together as a company because of this, if this was the impetus for it, but I'm really happy they did. It's really cool. Uh, they're using the Unreal 4 engine for development. Uh, right now, I believe it's only a PC thing at the moment, but you never know if it catches on in popularity, you could probably see it. We might see it on some on some consoles, you know, especially if there's just enough interest just public interest the video has Almost a million views like I said, and it's overwhelmingly a positive response um, And I'm one of those people. I, I'm really excited for it. I think it's a really Neat thing and beyond that it's actually really effective and the cool thing that they did with this this pre-alpha Which actually just blows me away like it blows me away this pre-alpha because this is proof that this is, they have a design doc, like they have like a thing that they're working towards more than say, I don't know, some giant Kickstarters that have started recently, uh, like Shenmue 3. Uh, as much as that's a cool thing that game's being made, uh, they're holding hostage the fact <laughs> that whether or not it's going to, you're going to get a complete experience based on like if you don't raise $10 million. It, it's a little bit ludicrous and it's kind of fleecing your your fans in the Kickstarter community, the people that went back to your product because you're saying, well, we asked for three million, but we actually can't make the game that you want for three million, or two million. They asked for two or three million, I can't remember exactly. But uh, that's kind of ridiculous. So they've made like insane stretch goals for kind of just 
to stupid shit. Just basically to add basic functionality into the game and make a Shenmue game that, uh, something more in the vein of games that have already been made. So if they, they don't get full backing, like, I guess, I'm not sure 100% what that game's gonna turn out like. But, Alice in Rose not like that. They have like kind of a, a very clear idea, and what they're and back to what I was saying. What's, what's cool about it is it's a vertical slice. This is something that's kind of like a proof of concept. Uh, the footage shown in the game or in the in the gameplay video is not going to be actually be in the game. It's there to show you the, some of the mechanics. It's show, there to show you like the tone, the way the engine works, and it's I think it's really successful. Um, and there's also some really nice, fun Easter eggs for PT fans in there, uh, like so that you can find and check out for yourself in the video. Um, I'm actually, I'd be really excited to get my hands on it and actually play a, a demo. That would kind of be a neat thing if they actually released that, if they could, I guess, because there's gonna be certain limitations there. And I don't know, like, it, it's probably best because it's horror and it's not finished that they give you kind of this controlled experience at first before letting you go into the sandbox of the game. Um, so I understand why they wouldn't, um, but it's still impressive nonetheless. Uh, really cool, really excited about it. Um, I believe, I, I want to say I heard something about Oculus support, so which would be really cool. I'm not 100% sure on that, I could be wrong on that. Um, but something I'm looking forward to, and, and really the only reason I'm making this video is because I want to support cool shit like that. Like I want to support cool artists and game developers that are actually working hard and doing something and not just fucking bitching and planning. And, uh, and also picking up the torch for PT, which looked like it could have been an incredible, like, horror game. You know, just from the playable teaser. Uh, and that's impressive to me. It really does. It's, it, it does me good. Like, all the negativity that surrounds kind of gaming and the game world and the game fans and stuff like that in the past year or so, it's really refreshing just to see something, while horror-based, still very positive. Like, it's a positive move in a certain direction. And I hope people go out and support it. Uh, they don't have any crowdfunding or Kickstarter type stuff in the works as of yet. Um, but honestly, like, if they did, like, based on what I've already seen, they've kind of proved to me, as a consumer, that this is something worth backing, worth supporting. So if they ever do decide to do that, um, I'd be totally into that. And I will update this video, uh, if that happens, I will update it. I'll add, you know, their Kickstarter thing in the description or a link or something. Um, for, for right now, if you want to know more, you want to keep up to date with the project, they have a Facebook group, or a Facebook page rather, and a group page, whatever, you can post to it. And um, and they're and they're pretty consistent. They also have a Twitter, uh, I believe they have a Twitter as well. And they're, uh, they've seen they're very communicative with uh, their fans and the people that are excited about it and they're more than willing to answer questions and probably do interviews and stuff like that if you were so inclined. Uh, just really neat, really so, like really, really seem like they have a really good attitude about it and they're just really overwhelmed and happy for all the support that it's got. They're very humble about it and that's really nice to see. It's really cool. Well, that's about that's gonna do it for me. Um, that's all I wanted to do. Just kind of make a short little kind of signal boost as much as I can. And uh, maybe just so there's another video about, out there about somebody talking about Allison Road, and who knows, maybe somebody will stumble on it. All right, I'm Sean, and I will talk to you guys next time I have something to talk about. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you don't mind, could you give us a like and maybe subscribe and share to our channel? Uh, just a technical point here uh, the green screen, right? So there's a little bit of problem with the green screen. Well, I'm working on getting some lighting rigs, and so hopefully, don't let that deter you from following our channel. Um, I'm going to be working on it, so hopefully if you like the content, the actual what I was saying, that's the reason to subscribe, like, share, or dislike, and don't do that maybe. Leave me some nasty comments, it'd be great. Alright, thanks again everybody.